Hi guys, Cinematic Recapped here. Before we start, morning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American superhero, science fiction, and fantasy movie, called Project Power. The movie begins by showing a ship named Genesis in a port in New Orleans. There are also several people waiting for something. After that, a man emerges from one of the shipping containers and offers a free supply of a mysterious pill called Power to a group of drug dealers, one of them named New. This pill grants various superpowers for five minutes, but the superpower each person receives is different. Six weeks later, Newt's teenage cousin, Robin, works as a drug dealer too. She is nearly robbed by customers seeking power. That night, she offers power to a group of teenagers, but she is nearly robbed by them instead. Luckily, a police officer Frank Shaver comes to rescue her at the right time. It turns out that Frank is one of her regular buyers. The scene moves to a man named Art. He is hunting for Newt who has been distributing power in the city. When he gets to Newt's flat, he immediately points a gun at him. Newt immediately consumes power against Art due to his desperate position. He gains a superpower to control fire. He immediately attacks Art, but eventually admits that someone named Biggie is the distributor of the power pills, before he dies of the pill overdose. A few moments later, there is a robbery at a bank where several policemen are injured because the robber has invisible power like a ghost. Frank immediately realizes that the robber must have taken the power pill to get his superpowers. Thus, Frank also secretly consumes a power pill before trying to catch the robber. There is a tussle between the two. At one point, the robber manages to snatch Frank's gun. He then shoots Frank right in the head. Fortunately, Frank gains the superpower to be immune to all weapons due to the power pill he has consumed earlier. As a result, he is able to foil the robber along with other police officers. However, he is suspended by his captain for using the power pill. On the other hand, his captain reveals that government personnel are pressuring him to terminate any investigation into power. He then gives Frank a picture of the man they suspect to be the source of the pills, which turns out to be Art. Meanwhile, Art invites Robin to meet at a cafe using Newt's cell phone that he has obtained earlier. After waiting for some time, Robin finally arrives at the cafe, but she cannot find Newt there. She then decides to leave the place. However, her motorcycle's tire has been punctured by someone. Therefore, Art uses the opportunity to abduct her and put her in the trunk of his car. After being taken somewhere, he interrogates Robin and forces her to take him to the drug cartel's safe house, which is located in a convenience store. Robin enters the store first, followed by Art quietly from behind. Afterwards, she is directed to a secret room, where she says that she has just been kidnapped and the captor is still outside. On the other side, Art manages to find the secret room and he immediately eliminates several of the cartel's men, even though he has to be shot in the shoulder. He approaches Robin in the room and then discovers that the power pill users throughout New Orleans are being monitored as test subjects for the drug. Because he keeps losing blood, Art immediately faints. Seeing this, Robin comes out and tries to escape from the store. However, she flees to the store again after seeing one of the cartel's men still alive after being shot by Art beforehand. The man chases her who keeps running away from him. Luckily, Art comes at the right time and manages to save Robin. He then enlists Robin's help to save his daughter who has been held captive by the drug dealer. Because of that, Robin bonds with Art as she treats his wounds later. After his wound healed, he does not want to waste time, so he rushes to save his daughter accompanied by Robin. On their way, Art reveals that after leaving the military, he was recruited by Teleos, a private defense contractor who experimented on him to create superpowers. A few years later, his daughter, Tracy was born after the experiments. Unexpectedly, she exhibited the superpowers without ever taking the drug. One day, she was abducted for further experiments by Wallace, a Teleos operative. Back to the present, Art and Robin finally find Biggie hosting a private demonstration of Project Power for a potential buyer at a club. Biggie claims that power represents the next evolution of the human species, with the pill's powers derived from the abilities of animals, such as the chameleon or the wolverine frog. In the meantime, Robin is waiting outside and then she meets Frank who is tracking Art, thinking that he is the dealer of the power pills. Robin who knew the truth decides not to tell him about Art's whereabouts inside the club. On the other hand, Art manages to sneak inside while eliminating the guards. He then sees a potential buyer in the large tube who wants to try the power. Consequently, she gets a superpower like Elsa in Frozen movie that can freeze everything she touches. Shortly after, Art wreaks havoc at the demonstration and manages to take Biggie as a hostage, while the potential buyer also dies of an overdose. 
He eventually interrogates Biggie at gunpoint and learns that the dealer's headquarters is located on a ship, the Genesis. Unfortunately, Frank intervenes because he wants to arrest Art. Therefore, Biggie uses the opportunity to take a dose of power, turning him into a horrible monster. This forces Art, Robin, and Frank to flee as Art kills Biggie in an explosion at the end. Outside, Frank still handcuffs Art and arrests him, even though Robin has explained the truth to him. Just then, Robin also sees a suspicious car nearby, so she decides to follow the car. Back to the car, Art continues to convince Frank about the truth. He explains that the power epidemic in New Orleans is mass testing to stabilize the drug, and that Tracy is the source of the drug's powers. After much thought, Frank becomes convinced that his captain was actually taking orders from Taleus. At the same time, the suspicious car followed by Robin finally arrives at a port. Afterwards, Art purposely has himself captured by Teleos and taken aboard to the Genesis. Then he is brought to meet Gardner, the head of Project Power. She also tells him that he is going to be the subject of her research as well. Meanwhile, Frank meets Robin at the port. The two of them have to infiltrate the ship so they can help Art to rescue his daughter. Frank initially consumes a power pill before executing their rescue plan. Sure enough, the pill has saved him from being shot by the bullets. They eventually are able to incapacitate some of the guards there. After successfully sneaking into the control room, Robin sets off the ship's alarm to clear the way for Frank to Art's captive room. Because of it, the panicked gardener orders her men to tighten the guard on the ship. At that time, some of the guards take the power pill to catch the intruders. Thanks to the pill, Frank easily defeats one of the power-enhanced guard. In the control room, Robin is almost caught by another guard. She chooses to escape through the emergency exit. Apparently, the path leads her to the laboratory where Tracy was being held. She also tells that her father is in the ship to rescue her. Luckily, the two of them are able to hide before Gardner and her men check the laboratory. On the other hand, Art successfully persuades a guard to free him. Not long after, another power-enhanced guard approaches him just as Frank arrives there as well. They finally reunite with Robin and Tracy after killing the big guy. Unfortunately, the group is suddenly chased by another guard who has the superpower to bring out iron weapons from his body. As the four attempt to flee, Robin is captured by Gardner. She demands Tracy in exchange for Robin's life. Inevitably, Art decides to confront Gardner, while consuming the power pill. It is revealed that the pill gives him the abilities of a pistol shrimp, which he uses to kill Gardner and her men, rescuing Robin in the end. As a trade-off, using the superpower costs Art his own life. Fortunately, Tracy resurrects him with her own superpowers, and they all escape the ship. A few days later, Frank intends to expose Project Power to the press, while Art decides to move on. He gives Robin his truck and a bag full of money to cover her mother's medical needs, telling her to use the greatness inside of her. Art and Tracy depart from the city and finally free. Meanwhile, Robin begins a new career as a rapper. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.